Hello everyone, this is Gunesh Bharatiya Speaks. Last week, uh, it was general English class which was going on online. And there was a discussion about Dweepan, novel written by Nerd Disoji. It was Winston Sir's class going and I claimed to give an introduction before uh, the explanation of novel starts. I was given with the opportunity and after my explanation, as a takeaway, I said that this novel explains about the sensitive difference between power and strength. That was when I was asked to give an explanation with regard to the difference between power and strength. To that moment, I defined it as power is an ability to do things. Strength is a capability to resist things. My dear friends, there is a lot of difference between our capacity to do something and our capacity to resist something. In a minute or two, I found one of my friend unmuting himself to give his own definition for power and strength. And I found it quite interesting. In fact, he defines it as a weird one, but to be honest, brother, it was a very unique one. So as on this platform, we adore the weird uniqueness. Today, we have with us Saurabh Singh Rajput, a very good friend of mine and a shire. Uh, usually, he doesn't post his shires on his social handles or elsewhere. But he's a very good shire and a very good interpreter of things. I usually feel amazed when uh, I find him interpreting the situations that he's standing in in a very unique way as he does all this. So, uh, welcome Saurav, welcome to our show and thank you very much for accepting our invitation and being here with us on our show today. Welcome, brother. Thank you, Mr. Ganesh. I'm actually grateful that you called me on your show and thought of I'm worthy of that. Thank you for that. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. And without wasting any time, I would like to move to that question for which this podcast is being baked for. Uh, Saurabh, can you please give us that definition of yours to define power and strength? Sure. So, as uh, Munesh was saying, this all discussion started in English class. Huh? So, we all know power. We exert power. Whatever we do things, we need the power. So. How much power should be exerted? Is it less? Is it more? What decides that? That decision is made by the reason itself. So power and strength are both governed by the reason behind them. So this was the definition that I gave that day. But after this, Mr. Gunesh approached me to go come on the podcast and have a little more discussion about in detail. So after that, I went through a lot of reading and learning more about what is power and strength and first of all i was actually uh, not interested in it because uh, whenever you go to search and google power and strength it just shows about power lifting and strength lifting there's no philosophical uh, difference exactly exactly and uh, okay sir uh, can you explain that word govern when we talk yeah. about it philosophically yeah sure the for example Imagine if a soldier is in war, so there he has to attack on enemies and he has to defend himself. So for attacking he needs the power and for defending he needs his strength. So where does he he is getting from? Where is he getting that strength or power from? What will happen if he doesn't defend? What will happen if he does not attack? All this is governed by the reason. The reason may be anything. It may be how to protect his family or protect his country or protect his king. So that reason, that is the reason that governs the strength and power. Exactly. It was a nice one. Can you please explain us the difference between power and strength uh, to be much more uh, relevant enough to get a deeper understanding? Power is an ability to make others do what you want them to do and strength is the ability to resist power okay nice nice uh it was a good one and uh, to justify this can you please give us an instance if possible if you could yeah not an instance you could talk about what you know what has happened about history in this matter history uh, i want to quote something here it's like history was made by people with power but changed by the ones who had the strength. Good one. Yes. 
referring to this so we can take so much of examples even from the ramayana mahabharata till the british rule or even today in the politics people have always wanted power people have always desired for power we you can just hear all the movies or see anything read anything will just see that he has he was a powerful one or he has power you'll read these sentences but you will rarely find a sentence where it is said that he had strength that's what i said not many people have the strength people have power people have always desired for power what is more dynamic or powerful than strength for example i can give you as a, as i was talking about the british rule it was there for almost 300 years in many other countries we can take examples of south africa india so here there was british rule they had power with them but then people with strength emerged nelson mandela bhagat singh mahatma gandhi these people they had the strength to oppose that power and we know what that has led us to here this is what strength can do strength okay. can change the course of history itself exactly yeah. power is something which is backed by strength power is an accumulation and strength is something which backs power in a individual way that's what uh, we can come into a conclusion i hope if you agree with this yeah kind of so yeah. we were talking about yeah kind of because power and strength may be different mm-hmm. power and strength may may be similar we don't know that it changes according to the situation everything changes according to the situation so what happens here is now we were talking about the difference now but what comes to the strength when we go to the similarities between power and strength as you were saying just now power is backed by strength and strength is backed by power itself so it's like a closed loop yes so the power you can i can just give a small instance like yes. if a power if a person has power and he wants to maintain it he needs strength and with strength only you can get gain power exactly it was a kind of very precise in a very good a very unique kind of talk and this is a new unit under the unit gunesh bharatiya speaks that is and speaks uh it was very nice speaking to you and it was a kind of very unique i like to conclude not weird okay i i protest against that word of yours in the end even so thank you very much saurav and thank you very much for giving all your ideas and the unique kind of thinking with you had upon the these two words that we discussed so far thank you very much have a nice day thank you Thank you Ganesh for having me on this show. Thank you. Thank you.